Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be detailing a little incident that I had with the dental insurance company Delta Dental. Now, you've seen some of my videos before and you might wonder, well, why do you have it in for Delta Dental? What did they ever do to you? Yada, yada. Okay, so fair questions. I'm glad you asked. So what they did to one of my patients, of course, is really, really beyond dumb. So I'll just put that out there and you already know that from my from one of my previous videos. But what they tried to do was really, really clever and uh, thank heaven it didn't work. Uh, clever and dumb and I'll explain. So April of last year is when I introduced my very first dental insurance video where I discussed the shortcomings of dental insurance. And lo and behold, about a month and a half after it was released, I was contacted by Delta Dental because they had heard about me supposedly as being an excellent educator and clinician. And they wanted me to join a panel of sorts to basically review uh, Delta Dental dentists. So review what they were doing and if they were doing things right or wrong. And it's a prestigious committee that meets and discusses all these things. So at the time I said, okay, well, let's see. I filled in an application form, sent it in. And of course, within about a day, they replied that they had approved. However, they wanted me to sign a strange contract. Now, I started reading it, and then I also realized they hadn't told me if they were gonna pay me or not for this being on this committee to review dentists. So I emailed the contact person, and I asked the question, well, hey, you know, are you guys gonna pay me for this? Because this sounds like it's gonna involve time and effort you know, if I'm going to do this right, and you know, I am a very busy professional, so I think I should be compensated fairly for my time. Well, the answer to the compensation part was a flat no, that they weren't going to pay me for any kind of review work that I did. <laughs> oh, goodness. And then I fully read the contract, and when I did, I realized that what it was, what was contained therein was, well, guess what? You can't say anything about anything that Delta is doing, any Delta products, any anything Delta or anything dental insurance wise from Delta was off the table as far as me discussing it, which would have meant my videos. So Delta being cheap, well, that's something that let's just say is known throughout the dental world. Uh, you know, you can see the comments that I'm showing here uh, for you about Delta Dental and what they pay for, what they don't pay for, what they've been fighting to, not to have to pay for. Uh, so you can see them here as they should be scrolling across your screen here. Um, but really, come on. You know, for a company that's making money hand over fist to not compensate dentists properly for the work that they do, try to not compensate for procedures that are separate procedures, separate, for example, a buildup and a crown are two separate things. And one of them, well, both of them involve different dental materials that cost money, and especially now cost even more money than they used to, 30% or greater amount, to not pay for those. And then to not wanna pay a professional for his or her time on a professional review committee, that's ludicrous. So. Delta Dental, I'm sorry. Uh, this is really going beyond bizarre, beyond ludicrous. Uh, so you may even call it from the famous movie, 1980s Spaceballs, they've gone plaid. And really, it almost seems like they have. Hopefully they come to their senses, but I'm not holding my breath. So that said, I appreciate you all joining. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. And I hope you're all staying well and healthy.